In this video, I'm going to be reviewing KiwiCo Qualicrate Space Search. Quick disclaimer, this video is sponsored by KiwiCo. However, all opinions in this video are my own. With that said, it's very exciting to have a brand that I've been subscribed to for the past couple years sponsoring this video. KiwiCo makes various products that help our children become creative problem solvers and critical thinkers. They do this by incorporating STEAM concepts into nine different subscription lines ranging from 0 to 100 years old. Yes, you heard correctly, 100 years old. So they have something for all age ranges. Each box comes with the tools, materials, and inspiration to explore that month's project. This crate, Space Search, is part of the Koala line for ages 2 to 4. All right, so here we have Space Search. It is for ages 2 and up, and it says discover and learn through tactile play and a seek and find space game. Sounds interesting. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Okay, so here we have, this is like a quick little magazine. It's instructions and, well, this is not the magazine. This is the magazine. This one is the instructions for everything. Um, basically teach you how to play with everything inside this kit and kind of tell you why you want to play with it in certain ways. All right, so here we have the Discover magazine. This one is Space Search. It has a lot of information about it. Mainly this one focuses on inside your toddler's mind as well as space themed finger plays. So basically this magazine has a bunch of information that KiwiCo has done a bunch of research on and has put it in here. And they usually have like a section where they kind of ask a doctor something. Here they have um, Ask Dr. D, that's what this called. And it just kind of gives you a nice little insight about your child's different stages. Like here's from birth to two, seven to two, and 12 to seven, and 12 and up. And at the very end, they also have a library or suggested reading that kind of goes along with the space theme of this Great. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's inside here now. Here we have two paint pots. So we get two little spatulas to get the paint out. And then two paint sets for when you do a little paint activity, which goes with this painted planet activity, which I'll go over in a little bit. Okay, and then this is the felt shapes for the sensory space box. And it comes a little a little wooden ball. Okay, and this is one always one of my favorite. My son really loves these books. This one's Kellen and the Moon. So it looks like, um, yeah, oh, this is interesting. This is fun. So the moon is always going to be a cutoff for it. I'll see how my son likes this book. All right, so this is a sticker sheet. Um, well, part of this camera's better. So you can see that they're just basically little stickers, eight of them, for them to paint different planets on. At least that's what I'm assuming. I haven't read into details quite yet. Okay, all right, here we have the space box. So here you can kind of build out the space box and in the end it'll kind of look like, um, well basically like what the little girl is playing with in the magazine here for them to play different, with, with the felting. Looks like for them to touch different things. Looks really cool. And that is all that's inside this crate. And I want to remind you that you do not throw away this box here because it is part of the Painted Planet um, activity. So make sure you keep it. And now it's time for me to introduce these activities to my son and see how he enjoys them. The Sensory Space Box is a fun way for your child to practice their fine motor skills and communication skills. There are several ways your child can interact with this activity. In the beginning, you can just treat it like sensory play and have your child reach in and grab different felt shapes. To add in an additional layer of difficulty, you can point to a different shape outside the box and then ask them to find that shape inside the box. Another activity you can do with this is unfold the box and have your child match the felt shape to the shapes that are printed inside the box. Folding and unfolding the box itself is an activity all on its own as it does require them to understand the different steps required to open and close the box. My son has been having a blast with this box. It's a great way for him to learn about outer space terminology. His favorite shape so far is the star. The next activity inside the crate is Painted Planets. This activity uses a unique active painting technique. You peel the back of this sticker sheet and place it inside the koala crate. I did this part for my son just to make sure it was centered, but if your child is older, this can definitely be something they can do on their own. Afterwards, go ahead and put a bit of the red and yellow paint on the edges of the sheet. It's best to start with just a small amount. Once again, depending on the age of your child, you can do this for them or you can split the task. I showed my son what to do on a couple of them and then I scooped the paint and allowed him to put it on the edges.
Now comes the fun part. Put the wooden ball inside and close the lid and have your child shake to the heart's content. After all the shaking is done, you can open it up and check out the Painted Planet stickers. Afterwards, let the ball and the sticker dry. I'm not 100% sure how long it takes, but I left it to dry overnight before handling them. After everything is dry and you're ready, you can use the Painted Planet stickers to decorate the sensory box. Just make sure to let your child know not to cover up this section of the box. Otherwise, you lose out on a fun activity to do with them. At first glance, this might just seem like a fun project for your child to do, but there are actual several learning components in this activity. When they're putting the paint around the edges, they're practicing their fine motor skills. They're also learning communication while you're explaining the process of what to do next. Additionally, they're also learning words, and that's a ton of them, like scoop, dab, roll, fast, slow, mix, wet, dry, and peel. And I'm happy to tell you that this is not just a one-time activity. KiwiGo provides you with a link to download this printable that you can use to do this activity again with leftover paint for more ball painting fun. In addition to this printable, the link also has several other DIY space-themed activities you can do with your child. This is a great way to find more fun, inexpensive projects to do with your child. So there's a ton of value in each crate. The last item in this crate is the book Helen and the Moon. My son has always been a huge fan of the books included with these crates. While some crates come with a book like this one, KiwiCo also offers an option to guarantee a book is added to every month with their deluxe program. If you choose to upgrade to a deluxe subscription, the KiwiCo team will select a special book to complement each month's crate topic. It's a great way to extend the fun and learning. This book, Kellen and the Moon, is a short read of how Kellen and her friends enjoy looking at the moon and eventually end up doing a craft project to make a moon. Nice little story and of course my son's favorite part of the book is that the moon has a cutout so it can be seen on every page in the same location. So is this crate worth the cost? KiwiCo offers different price points depending on how many months you subscribe. If you pay month to month, each crate costs $23.95 per box. Pay three months at a time, it will be $21.95 per box. Six months is $19.95 and 12 months is $18.50. Let's say that you win with the month to month pricing at roughly $24. I still think that this box is well worth it. The items and activities are generally unique and cost more to recreate on your own. Plus every box comes with everything you need to explore that given topic. There's a lot of value there. The board book alone by themselves usually costs around seven to ten dollars. Plus right now you can get 30% off your first month by clicking on the link in the description. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think about this crate. Is it something you see your little one having fun with? If you've enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.